hello children today we will start chapter 7c study of compounds nitric acid so molecular formula of nitric acid is h and o3 it is a mono basic acid due to the presence of one hydrogen so per molecule nitric acid evolve one h plus ion that is why basicity of nitric acid is 1 so it is called as mono basic acid its molecular mass is 63 okay and the uh, reaction of dissociation of nitric acid will be h plus plus and o3 minus okay students so so mono basic acid introduction nitric acid was initially called as aqua fortis in 18th century alchemists called nitric acid aqua fortis meaning strong water as a result of its corrosive action on many metals In 1658 Glauber prepared nitric acid by distilling nitre formula of nitre is KNO3 with concentrated sulfuric acid and hence the name is nitric acid because it is obtained from nitre In 1784 Cavendish determined the composition of nitric acid Okay composition of nitric acid means Uh, the elements which are present in per molecule of nitric acid okay students then occurrence nitric acid occurs in the free state and in the combined state so in the free state during lightning discharge nitrogen in the atmosphere reacts with the oxygen to form nitric oxide and which further oxidize to nitrogen dioxide so nitric oxide no nitrogen dioxide and o2 and this nitrogen dioxide dissolves in atmospheric moisture and in the presence of oxygen of the air forming nitric acid in the free state okay students so and this is the uh, this nitric acid which is formed here is responsible for acid rain so the nitric acid which falls on the earth along with rain water may further combine with mineral carbonates in the soil forming soluble nitrates this conversion of free atmospheric nitrogen into useful nitrogenous compounds in the soil is termed as fixation of atmospheric nitrogen okay students so this point is known as fixation of nitrogen okay fixation of nitrogen atmospheric nitrogen the equations are given here nitrogen plus oxygen in the presence of lightning nitric oxide then nitric oxide plus oxygen nitrogen dioxide the nitrogen dioxide water moisture and oxygen nitric acid which is which can uh, which can be part of rain also so in that condition it will be known as acid rain so in the combined state as it salt in minerals these are the salts of nitric acid chili salt peter sodium nitrate bengal salt peter potassium nitrate or nitrate then preparation of nitric acid laboratory method okay students so uh, from uh, this page the content is started according to your syllabus okay the introduction uh, was not in uh, in your included in your syllabus from here the things are included in your syllabus okay students so laboratory methods method from potassium or sodium nitrate 
and concentrated sulfuric acid. So, laboratory preparation of nitric acid is carried out by distilling a mixture of potassium or sodium nitrate with concentrated sulfuric acid. Not sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid should be concentrated. This apparatus is shown here. Then reaction. Equation. Potassium nitrate which is also known as nitre KNO3 is reacting with sulfuric acid concentrated H2SO4 at less than 200 degrees Celsius. So this uh, temperature is very important condition of temperature temperature should be less than 200 degrees Celsius formation of potassium bisulfate plus nitric acid. Now, if you are taking sodium nitrate, which is known as chili salt petal, with concentrated sulfuric acid at same condition of temperature, formation of sodium bisulfate plus nitric acid. Reactants. Potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate. So, lab preparation of nitric acid can be asked to you. Uh, from any one of this compound uh, with potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate okay students so two uh, main reactant are there and which are reacting with concentrated sulfuric acid by salts formed plus nitric acid so reactants potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate plus concentrated sulfuric acid these two uh, components of the reaction are taken in glass retort X. So, this is the glass retort X in which nitre or chili saltpeter plus concentrated sulfuric acid is taken here. The next is products potassium bisulfate or sodium bisulfate and nitric acid vapors are formed. Condition, temperature of reaction should be less than 200 degrees Celsius. Procedure, a mixture of equal parts by weight, equal parts by weight of sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate and concentrated sulfuric acid, equal parts by weight, okay, so 1 kg and 1 kg. 2 kg or 2 kg okay so equal parts by weight of concentrated sulfuric acid and of sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate and are heated gently in the glass retort observation on heating the mixture in glass retort the volatile nitric acid is displaced and the vapors are collected in the receiver which is cooled from outside with the cold water so due to the reaction between the related reactants vapors of nitric acid will form and these vapors will be get condensed here in this reservoir or receiver so it, these will be get condensed uh, with the help of cold water so vapor will liquefy in the form of nitric acid liquid okay students and this nitric acid liquid will be taken out from this outlet time to time so collection concentrated nitric acid vapors condense and are collected in the water cooled receiver why precaution complete apparatus is made of glass why since nitric acid vapors are corrosive conch hcl is not used in the preparation of nitric acid why because the reaction uh, not used okay uh, in place of concentrated sulfuric acid as a reactant why because hcl itself a volatile acid okay so this the reaction temperature is properly maintained and controlled.
so this line is very important reaction temperature should be maintained and controlled less than 200 degrees celsius then identification the vapors obtained in the receiver on heating alone uh, or with copper turnings evolve reddish brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide so vapors or liquefied vapors uh, of nitric acid will react with copper turnings and will give out reddish brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide which turns acidified ferrous sulfate solution brown pro uh, proving that the vapors are of nitric acid okay so in this way we can check uh, where uh, the vapors which are formed are of nitric acid or not okay students so when these vapors or their liquid form uh, will react with copper turnings reddish brown fumes will form okay and these fumes will turn the brown acidified ferrous sulfate solution so uh, these uh, these conversion formation of nitrogen dioxide and turning of color of ferrous sulfate brown these two conversions or observations are proving that the vapors which are formed or collected here in receiver after the reaction of concentrated sulfuric acid with chili salt peter or nitre are the vapor of nitric acid okay students moving to next page reactants sodium or potassium nitrate is distilled with concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid is used since it is a strong non volatile acid and capable of displacing the more volatile nitric acid from the later salt potassium nitrate or sodium nitrate on heating the reaction mixture okay so sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid itself a non volatile acid and it displaces comparatively more volatile acid from its salt concentrated hydrochloric acid is not used in place of concentrated sulfuric acid since being volatile itself is not used to displace another volatile acid so acl itself a volatile acid so it is not used to uh, displace other volatile acid like nitric acid then the molar ratio of the reactants that is nitre or acid is taken as 1 is to 1 since even though sulfuric acid is di basic an acid salt is required to be formed and that is only half the hydrogen of the acid is used okay students so uh, here given that 1 is to 1 ratio we are using of nitrate and sulfuric acid uh, whereas sulfuric acid is a bad di basic acid so why uh, this di basic acid with nitrate is used in the 1 is to 1 ratio whereas just one hydrogen is used in the formation of sodium bisulfate why it is so because because one mole one mole of sulfuric acid so uh, uh, of this one mole sulfuric acid one hydrogen uh, will be displaced for the formation of nitric acid with nitrate ion and the other hydrogen is present here in the form of bisulfate radical or ion okay students so that is why for one mole of nitrate one mole of sulfuric acid will be required then apparatus and all glass apparatus is used in the above laboratory preparation why because the apparatus consists of a glass retort is which in which the reactants are heated 
and the water cooled uh, receiver to collect the condensed vapors of nitric acid the complete apparatus is made of glass only since the vapors of nitric acid are highly corrosive and attack rubber cork etc okay so that is why we are using whole uh, lab apparatus of glass only on next temperature of the reaction the temperature of the reaction mixture of nitric acid in its laboratory preparation is properly maintained and controlled at temperatures less than or around 200 degrees celsius so uh, we are using temperature 200 degrees celsius or uh, less than 200 degrees celsius so according to this reaction bisulfate salt and nitric acid is formed okay students so now if you are using temperature above than 200 degrees celsius so instead of bisulfate sulfate will form okay so high temperatures means above 200 degrees celsius are not used why because first point damage to the glass apparatus high temperature can damage to the glass apparatus second point further decomposition of the nitric acid high temperature can cause further decomposition of nitric acid which is formed as product here then third point formation of a hard residual crust of the corresponding sulfate this is which being a poor conductor of heat sticks to the glass and cannot be easily removed from the apparatus okay so uh, this sulfates which can be formed above 200 degrees celsius are poor conductor and sticks to the glass and cannot be easily removed so these are the reasons why we are using temperature less than 200 degrees celsius and we have to control this temperature and maintain also to maintain this temperature and to control this temperature less than 200 degrees celsius otherwise this sulfate will form as a product Uh, which is poor conductor of heat sticks to the glass and cannot be easily removed from the apparatus okay so these are the three reasons why uh, we are going to control or maintain the temperature of the reaction uh, less than 200 degree celsius okay so next page the product nitric acid vapors the color of pure nitric acid differs from the color of nitric acid obtained in the laboratory nitric acid which you can see in your lab is having different color uh, than the uh, nitric acid which which is obtained in lab now pure nitric acid is colorless while the nitric acid obtained in the laboratory is slightly yellowish brown due to decomposition of the acid which is negligible at ordinary temperatures but substantial at high temperatures okay so in lab you can see uh, color of nitric acid uh, which is yellowish brown in color generally uh, whereas pure nitric acid is colorless so this yellowish brown color is due to the decomposition of nitric acid okay now after this point decomposition of nitric acid results in formation of reddish brown nitrogen dioxide which remains dissolved in the acid thereby imparting the color to it so what is the reason of yellowish brown color of the nitric acid due to the decomposition of nitric acid reddish brown nitrogen dioxide is formed which remains dissolved in the acid and which impart the color to the acid this is the reaction here decomposition reaction of nitric acid nitrogen dioxide is formed water and o2 hence concentrated nitric acid appears yellow when it is left standing in a glass bottle Uh, in lab generally we can see such type of nitric acid the yellow brown tinge in the acid can be removed by first is bubbling of air or carbon dioxide 
सो दिस कलर ऑफ रेडिश ब्राउन कलर येलो ब्राउन कलर ऑफ द नाइट्रिक एसिड कैन बी रिमूव बाय बबलिंग ऑफ एयर और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो व्हाट विल हैपन हेयर व्हिच ड्राइव्स आउट द रेडिश ब्राउन नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड गैस फ्रॉम द वॉर्म एसिड and further oxidizes nitrogen dioxide to nitric acid okay students so when we bubble air or carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide or air will taken out this excess amount of nitrogen dioxide which is present dissolved in nitric acid and also nitrogen dioxide oxidized in the form of nitric acid so due to these two uh, changes uh, by bubbling of air or carbon dioxide we can remove yellowish tinge yellowish brown tinge from the nitric acid second uh, doing is dilution with water so causes dissolution of the nitrogen dioxide gas which is soluble in water so by adding some amount of water we can dissolve no2 gas which is present in nitric acid and due to this the nitric acid will become again colorless okay because no2 is soluble in water okay students so this much in this class next in next class we will start with oswald process thank you very much